Let us go to the uh, to the uh, other miracle. This miracle is not working. It's a it's a fraud, obviously. Maybe the second miracle will be good. Maybe you never know. I mean, we, we might get lucky. Tell us more, uh, uh, doo doo. Let us move. Let's see the one after. What is the one after? This one is one here. Expansion of the universe was described in the Quran. <clears throat> And it is we who have built the universe with our creative power and keep expanding it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where it says we keep expanding it, where where the word it? Because when you say it, you make it go back to the sky, right? The fact in Arabic it says wa inna limwasiyoon did not say mention the sky at all. Said we build the sky, we build the heaven. We build everything, and we can't even do more. There's nowhere the word expand is exist. Let us see if this is true or not. I mean, how come the Islamic interpretation for the Quran does not match with those miracles? You know what I mean? Chapter 51 verse number 47 do you, anyone sees here it says that allah will expand the space if you go to the interpretation let us see the interpretation does it say allah will expand the universe and by the way it is the bible says a bible a book written thousand of years thousand of years before muhammad exists that God, he extend the heaven like a curtain. This is in our book. This is in our book. But nobody says oh, the, the Bible have a scientific miracle. Because we don't, you know, we don't believe in God because of science. It's in our book. But here, nowhere it says what they are saying. Or what the Quran is saying that Allah, he can do more. Let us see the interpretation, chapter 51, verse number 47. And if there is a Muslim listening and he like me to put specific interpretation, I will be happy to put it. And you will see, he himself, he will regret. Uh, each time I want to open this uh, website, it's going to give me this message. Hmm. Do you see, guys? What is the word expand? How come none of those Arab who speak Arabic very well saw that there is expanding for the universe? Do you see anywhere? mean Allah is strong do you see it he can do more he's a strong there is no expand there is no expansion nobody getting fat and nobody getting skinny and all of this is a lie hoping that because you do not know Arabic we can fool you and you shake your head because dude dude is shaking his head Ooh, ah, oof, ah, wow but as you see this is their interpretation. Why the scholars did not see the word? Okay, how come in the Quran it says Allah will expand the heaven, yet those scholars, they did not notice. They don't speak good Arabic? Maybe they don't. You never know, brother. Maybe those are uh, not Arab, brother. Maybe they are explaining the Quran, but they are Hindus. Hmm? Anyway, let us go to the second part of this drama. <clears throat> or maybe the, those who made the interpretation for the Quran, they are Jewish, brother. Jews, brother, let us blame the Jews. Okay, tell us more. Let us move to the other one. What is next? The sun in orbit. Oof. In 1512, the astronomer Nicholas Copernicus put forward... Nicholas Copernicus. It's not a guy, his name is Abbas. It's Nicholas Copernicus. Always the one who discovered things are not Muslims. Praise be to Allah. Okay, what this guy he noticed? Forward his theory that the sun is motionless at the center of the solar system and that the planets revolve around it. The belief that the sun is stationary was widespread amongst astronomers until the 20th century. 
It is now a well-established scientific fact that the Sun is not stationary, but is moving in an orbit around the center of our Milky Way galaxy. Did he say around our Milky Way? So it's not around the Earth. Let him get. In, let us get him busted. According to Muhammad, the Sun it is the one who is moving around the Earth. Let us read together. And actually, he will quote the same verse he is quoting in his video, claiming that this is about a miracle, which is about how the sun have an orbit. All right. Let us see. First of all, Muhammad is the only scientist who discovered that the sun set in a murky water. And this is confirmed in the Quran in chapter 18, the cave chapter. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah who was riding a donkey. By the way, at that time, Muhammad, he used to go to the space riding donkey too. So at that time, donkey was a spaceship for Muhammad. While the sun was setting, he asked, do you know where, where this is set? Speaking about what the sun. I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. Muhammad, he liked the sentence. He asked people, do you know this? You have to answer him right away. He says, Allah and Muhammad knows best. It's like this guy, like yeah, me. Yeah, I am the one who knows. He liked, he liked to make those statements so that he speak that he have, he's a prophet. He knew. And now Muhammad is giving us his pupu. He said, it's set in a spring of warm, muddy, hot, warm water. Do you see it? The Muslim, they speak about saying they discover that the sun going in the Milky Way, Milky, Milky Way, when Muhammad describing the sun set as the following, the sun goes every day and take a shower in hot water and then appear in the morning. Not only that, the story is go even more hilarious. Uh, let us see. Here we go. Once I was behind the prophet in a mosque. And by the way, there is there is a there is a, a nice, a beautiful girl. She called me Habibi. Always, her name is Fifi. Uh, uh, she said that this hadith is very accurate, so she cannot eat it. They said this is the correct hadith. They were answering an atheist. His name, the apostate prophet. They says this is the correct hadith. Okay, let us see the correct hadith. I was behind the prophet in the mosque. I was with the prophet in the mosque at the time of the sunset. Obviously, in the like you know, riding the donkey again, maybe. And Abu Dhar, uh, he, he said, Muhammad, he said to him, "Do you know where the sun set?" I replied, "Allah and His Apostle knows best, as usual." He said, "It goes and prostrate under Allah's throne." But this guy, he just said, he's talking about what? About the sunset. This is something happen every 24 hours. The guy in the video, he's speaking about the earth, that the sun is not move, like we are, we are going or moving around the sun, but the sun itself is moving in the Milky Way. According to Muhammad, the sun goes every day. Explain where the sun goes. It is the sun who is moving, not the earth is moving. And then he quote the verses they are quoting in the video. And that is the, st the statement of Allah. And the sun runs and it's a fixed course. This is the orbit. Do you see the orbit? The orbit of the sun, according to the Quran, the sun every day go and uh, sit under the throne of Allah. And take a nap. Do you see it? The funny, the Muslims, look, 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 look at the chat. I am showing them the hadith in the front of their eyes and they are saying to me, stop lying. Guys, can you believe it? Look, look, let me show you. I am showing them the hadith in the front of their eyes. And they say to me, look, this guy says, this is not hadith, this is interpretation. What, what do you mean interpretation? So oh, first of all, how come the interpretation of the scholars is different from the interpretation, inter interpretation of YouTuber? So now YouTuber guy who make a video is the one is solid for you and the scholars are not and now we are showing you a prophet are you going to say your prophet he have wrong interpretation too obviously a guy in youtube he understand the quran but than muhammad it's obvious and now look at this guy Faroos. stop lying please uh, please stop being stupid because you are just accusing now your prophet to be a liar because it is your prophet who said that not me you see it says there the prophet said, I was with the prophet, 
in the mosque in the time of the sunset the prophet said the prophet said not christian friends so we showed them the prophet said they said to me stop lying muhammad said stop lying it's in front of you stop lying the other guy he said this is interpretation muhammad interpretation is not accepted muhammad interpretation is a stupid muhammad we don't follow muhammad we follow fifi and mimi we muslim we don't follow prophet muhammad we follow shish kebab hummus who's muhammad we never heard of him muhammad says that we don't accept <laughs> you see can you believe it they are following a kid in youtube making false videos and they don't accept their prophet interpretation are you saying muhammad was lying when he was saying this yes he was lying obviously thank you very much for mentioning this and this is sahih al-bukhari so you cannot say this is daif hmm? daif hmm so it's a fraud as usual so the, the this one number six it turned to be uh, a fraud again let us continue what is next the sun have an orbit right the sun is sleep in, in the murky water every day number seven the ocean let us see number seven the ocean okay ooh, ooh. Tree to convey its deep meanings here it describes the state of the unbelievers as darkness out in a deep ocean which is covered by waves above which are waves, above which are clouds, uh -huh. layers of darkness, mm -hmm. one upon the other. Mm -hmm. When one puts out his hand therein, he can hardly see it. Those God gives no light to, they have no light. It is commonly oh. thought that the waves only occur on the surface of the ocean. Uh -huh. However, oceanographers have discovered that there are internal waves that take place below the surface of the ocean. Hmm. These waves are invisible to the human eye. And can only be detected by specialist equipment. Oh. Oh, if, if, if. I mean, guys, this is a, just to show you how easy to get them busted with this one too, as usual. Did you notice that the verse he mentioned? It says there's a dark cloud. Does it say that? If we are talking about the deep sea and the darkness in the deep sea, and you are not in the surface, then what the cloud is for? Because that will not affect. There's a cloud, there's no cloud. The dark sea is deep and it's dark. Even if it's the most sunny day, it is dark, correct? So, but here it says, and then above that, there's a cloud. So it's speaking about this, that crazy ocean, waves come in one after one, one over the other one, they never stop. And then there is a dark cloud, very tough, dark cloud to the point it became dark, the cloud is preserved, pre preventing the light. So we have a storm, we have an ocean, we have a crazy ocean, we have a crazy storm, and we have very dark cloud, and now it is dark. Do you see it? Guys, does it say there, topped by dark cloud? So if this is about the deep sea and discovery, then what the dark cloud is about? Because the deep sea is always dark, regardless if it's night or daytime, regardless if it's sunny or it is a cloudy. So it is a lie. So this one is very, I mean, this is not even worse to talk about it. Always try, you know, when you read something, be vigilant, read carefully, don't let them fool you. The Quran itself explain itself, showing you how stupid it is. Hey guys, look at the uh, Faroos. Faroos saying the hadith written by a human. Well, isn't it the Quran written by a human too? <laughs> isn't it the Quran written by a human? Isn't it this is supposedly the Quran of Uthman? What is the Quran of Muhammad? Did Allah write the Quran? And by the way, this guy when he talked, he is the most funny idiot ever. According to the Quran, no Quran accepted except the one who Allah will collect. The Quran says, Inna alayna jam'uhu wa Quranahu. Chapter 75, verse number 17. It is on us to uh, recite the Quran and to collect the Quran. Who is speaking? Allah. So, it is not for Muslims to collect the Quran. 
It is not for Muslims to preserve the Quran. It is not for Uthman. It's not for Muhammad. It is for Allah. Where is the Quran of Allah? Now what this guy will say? Oh, this is written by human. <laughs> Do you see it? The Quran says Allah will collect the Quran. Where is Allah collecting the Quran? Show me. You don't even have the Quran of Uthman. <laughs> 